everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really fun boxes. They've got this hinge and you just lift up the little tab there and you have all that room. So I think these would be nice for candles, but again, obviously lots of different treats. And this one, I've got a slightly larger ribbon little tab there. And again, you just lift it up. This was the second one I've done and this is the correct one because this piece here is actually flush with the top here. Whereas if I just bring in that one again, you see this one's higher but it doesn't affect the way this works, but I prefer just the kind of finish of that. I just think it looks a little bit neater. And then you can see on the front there, we've got a really nice sentiment. Flowers bloom for, flowers bloom all for you. And then on the top, went a bit mad with this one really. So I've got this big flower in the center. I've added Nouveau drops because you don't just have to have them on cards. I've got some holographic cardstock and some white there for the leaves. But I just think it looks really nice and again you can see there so I've stuck with three kind of colors so I've gone for this kind of turquoise yellow and pink so this one's got turquoise turquoise base with the yellow top and then the pink flower this has got yellow and then pink and then a turquoise flower and then the next one will have all of those again but it's going to finish with a yellow flower on top now the inspiration for this has actually come from this box here and this here, you can see there was lovely champagne truffles inside. They were delicious, they've been eaten. But I just loved the way the box worked. I thought it was really nice and I thought, let's recreate it. So it's exactly the same size. You can see there everything. But I didn't take this apart. I've pretty much, you know, worked it out, you know, myself. It's not too difficult to do. And I think I've broke it down pretty, you know, straight, so that it's nice and straightforward now. But I think it's great, really nice, so yeah. That's where my inspiration came for this one. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so what you actually do is you make two of the same size. So I've already got one here. This is all, this will be the top or the bottom and all the bits and pieces there, the flower for the top, the little pull tab, even my sentiments all done there. Just to show you the sentiments I've used. So I use flowers bloom all for you on one of them. Then I use the happy birthday here. This is from an old one that was free in a making cards magazine. And then the other one was awesome at any age there as well okay and I, I do I use this one a lot it's a really lovely stamp set then for the flower I used this plate here which is by John next door and it's the poppy plate I believe yeah it's the poppy one okay and that one there if you're interested as well that is the orchid okay so that's what I used to make the flower for the sprigs I use this one here and this is by bright rosa and it's the sprigs and twigs and there's the other one there and then the paper pad, I have used this one, Pick and Mix. I actually got this from Every Crafts a Pound probably maybe six weeks ago now, but it's lovely, really nice, fun, kind of, um, I don't know, just reminds me of like a sweet shop kind of thing, I think, because it says Pick and Mix maybe as well, but anyway, that's what I'm using. So, okay, then you want two pieces of the same size. Ignore if I got any cut lines, because I was just trying and making sure it was all correct. So this is a piece of nine by seven and three quarters. And I've also got a template here just so that everything kind of makes sense really. So what we want to do first of all is along your nine inch side you want to score it two and three quarters and six and a quarter. So two and three quarters and six and a quarter all the way down. Okay. Then along the seven and three quarter side you want to score at three quarters of an inch and three and a half inches and seven inches. Okay. Then with this seven inch score line rotate it so that's now at the top because these two sections are different sizes. See we've got the smallest like rectangle here and then this more square here. So now you should have that smaller rectangle at the bottom and then I've got the bigger one here. You now want to score it two and seven just to the first score line. And if I rotate now here, you'll see there two and seven just to that first score line because it doesn't go all the way down. Okay, but you need to make sure it's within that section. So if you just moved your paper all the same way as me, then it will all work out. Okay, so then you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, and then with the end where you've done those extra score lines, so the two and seven just to the first score line, you want to cut down those score lines, just the ones that just go to the first score line. Okay, hopefully I'm still, you're still with me, just there. Next, you may want to draw a pencil. If I just turn the template around. So we've just cut down to here. 
you see mine there. You then want to cut from there across down to there. So I, for me it's here, so just cutting across there. If you'd rather draw a pencil line from there to there, then do so. But I've got my nice long scissors here, so I'm just going to go in. Remember you're going to see all of this, so make sure it's, you know, it is very straight, like so. And again, what I'll do here is I'll go from that score line up to there. Like so. So now if I lay this over here, you can see what we're getting. Okay. Then if you flip it now, so you've got this end, so I'll do it this way. You just now want to cut down, because I started, I cut at this, this end, which is why I've got this extra cut here. So ignore that, you won't have that. You're just cutting down your two and three quarters and your six and a quarter score line. And then you just want to cut across, so you're removing that whole rectangle. So again, like so. Again, I can lay that now over my template and you can see what we've got there. Okay, so I'll keep that there still for a minute. You also then pop it on the side and you want to cut down this score line here in the middle. So we're cutting down this score line here just to the first score line. Okay, again to the other side. Alright, so you can see now what we've got. Back up here again, you need to cut down the other score line, again, just to the first one, just so that you're freeing up these little tabs. Okay, Because what's going to happen is they're going to be stuck behind here, and you can see already how we're starting to form this shape here. Okay, now there is another bit that we need to cut, but it's easier if you lay this down, so you're putting one of your kind of wings over the square, and the top of the wing should come right to the top here. But you now want to cut away this piece here, because you're just going to see it. Now, if you want to glue it first and then just trim up there, you can. It's easy to do because we're not attaching it to anything yet, so you can get your scissors in there. Or you may just want to pop a little pencil mark just there, and then trim it away, and that's what I've been doing. But you know, do what works best for you. So I'm just making sure this is all, you know, lined up nice and straight. And then I'm just going to pop my pencil there and just kind of run it along the top. So now when I take that away, I know that I just need to cut like so. And then again, I can just bring that under, and now. That's hidden behind there. So it's reinforced as well. So again, I'll go through that again on this side. So bring the wing over the square. And again, I'm just going to put a little pencil mark there so I know where to cut. So it's just easier to do it that way. That's why I didn't add it into the template. But now you can see what you should have. Something like that. I'll lay it down on there as well so it's a bit easier for you to see. So just hold that there for a minute. Remember you've got your cut lines there as well. Like that. Okay. So you will want to do that twice. Okay, so you will have two pieces now and we're going to glue this together. So the wing, this isn't, this is that piece we cut into. The main wing is going to stick over this piece. So I'm just going to grab my, my glue and I'm going to pop glue all on this piece here up and stick that down and again do the same on the other side like so and then all that's left to do is to stick this in here now you may want to just cut just a little bit off of the top corners just so that nothing maybe you know might poke out the top so again just a little bit because we we do want to make sure we've got enough to be able to attach so again, just going to pop a little bit of glue on both of those. And again, just lay that underneath. If you use your liquid glue, you've got a little bit of wiggle time and you can kind of position it like so. Now, 
you will end up sticking one of these down, okay? And it will become the front. But now you can decide which one you want to be the front and which one goes underneath to become the base. You can see there how it comes together. So I just brought in my other ones here. So I think I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have the turquoise on the top, okay? So I want to actually stick this one inside. So it just reinforces the front, just gives it a nice finish. So whatever one you decide to go on the top, you can stick it in. So it's just a piece like this, because this flap now we are going to attach to this here. So again, it will reinforce it, so it's going to stick inside like that. You can see how you get a really nice finish. So I'm going to pop my glue on here. Make sure you're doing it the right way. It should all go, you know, go together like so. It's going to be a bit flimsy at the minute because we haven't put that piece inside. But you just want to kind of, I would say, you go in like that. There we go. Okay, you can push that right in there. Make sure you butt it right up inside and just kind of let that grab. Okay, and now that will just kind of flop about like this. But next we're going to add the card inside. You can also fold it back like that. But now we're going to add the card inside here and it will just shape everything really nicely. And then when that slides over the top, it will all square off. Okay, so this here is 10 and 3 eighths of an inch by 2 and 3 quarters. Okay, and what's going to happen is it's going to go inside here. Like so. Now what I find easiest to do is pop it in like I've just done there. You want it to be nice and snug. And then just, when it comes to the corner here, just pinch it, take it out, and then lie it flat. And then just fold. So now when you pop that back in there, and then you can go around. Okay, so you see there, it sits perfectly in that corner. Go around to the next one push it right up, my finger there, and push him right up and pinch just the bit that you can and then fold that one down. And if you find it's catching just ever so slightly then you've got time to trim it away. But now if I pop that in there, it fits perfectly. And it's just the easiest way to do it rather than scoring those sixteenths of an inch, do it like that. Then all we need to do is add glue all inside the two sides of the box and then the front. So you can see now how this is really, you know, becoming a nice strong little box as well. It's all reinforced. You can just go in there and make sure that's all stuck and it should line up perfectly with the height there, which is two and three quarters. And now when you go to close it, it will keep its shape like so. Once I put the tab in there as well, that'll hold it down. Isn't that nice? Really lovely, slightly unusual box. So I've got this piece of ribbon here and I've just got some hot glue. I'm using my odd colours of glue stick because I am waiting for some new ones. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue there and then fold the ribbon over on itself to create a little tab there. This is measurement wise, you're looking at two inches and then just fold it in half. Then I'm just going to trim that off so it's nice and neat because, I mean, I don't conceal it. If I show you this one here, it's actually concealed inside that piece, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to, with some hot glue, very neatly just stick it just in the centre there. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit just in there. And then you want about half an inch overhanging. So and now when that goes down, you've got that finish. Okay, then I just need to decorate the top and add my sentiments. These are all the pieces here. Like I said, I'd already gone and done this off camera, but I can just pop some hot glue, pop my flower in the center there, which is really lovely. Yeah, I think they work nice together actually. And then I'm just going to stick these in each corner there and pop my sentiment on the front. That's that all done, and then I'm gonna finish it off with some Nouveau drops. So I think I'm gonna go for the pink, the same pink that I used on that one there. So this is the Rhubarb Crumble. Again, completely optional, but I do think it looks quite nice. I'm just gonna pop there. Just do little groupings of three. Okay, there we go, and you'll notice I've got two 
rather large Nouveau drops to the left there because I got a little bit of air in it kind of puffed it out and it it kind of splodged so just make a bigger drop <laughs> but there you have it isn't it cute I can't really go too far on the side there but you can see how it looks it's got a really nice profile it's really neat and again if I'm very quick you can see it all closes up really nicely but again I don't want to move that too much just let that kind of self level again I'll bring these ones back up just so you can see how they look I think they're lovely these are I'm just kind of stocking up again I've got like a big plastic tub where I keep a lot of my packaging so that I've got it ready for when I you know have gifts and stuff to send but you can certainly get some nice treats inside here especially like some homemade shortbreads jewelry you know all the usuals but also you know I'm sure a nice small candle would go in there and yeah lots of other things so there you have it three very nice flip reinforced flip lids something like that I don't know but anyway thank you for watching if you've enjoyed today please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already and that way you'll get to see lots more fun tutorials see you soon bye